Hey guys, Austin here with Out Jeeping, and in today's video, we're going to be fixing the last oil leak on my 99 Jeep Cherokee with the 4.0 straight six engine. Now, as you saw last time, we replaced the oil pan gasket in the rear main seal, which fixed majority of the oil leak, but there's still one more that we're going to tackle today, and that's the oil filter adapter. So stay tuned, we're going to cover the whole job from start to finish, so let's get started. So looking at the components that we're going to be replacing today, um, what you're really going to need is an O-ring kit. Um, I got the master kit right here which replaces all the O-rings and that oil filter adapter. Uh, most people think it's just this big one right here, which it does do majority of the leak because this O-ring gets all dry rotted out and basically feels like plastic once you take it out and uh, basically no longer uh, acts as a seal and that's where your majority of your leak is going to come from. But there's also pretty much uh, the main plunger that's in there that also has a few other O-rings that a lot of people forget about. Um, so that's why we have a few more O-rings in here as well. And we're going to be replacing those too. Now the key for this job to work, um, because it is a tight area to get in there um, with a socket, um, but to get that oil filter adapter off is we're going to need a T60 Torx right here. And you can buy them in a socket just like this. And what I actually did was I pounded this out of the socket because unfortunately with the unibody rail right next to that oil filter adapter it's pretty close and you're not going to be able to fit this socket in there so you're going to have to pound this out and instead what we're going to use is a 12 millimeter wrench and that's going to fit over right here now still these are going to be loctited in place and they're going to be on there pretty darn good so what you can do is we can take either a pipe to fit over this to give us a lot more leverage or we can take another wrench kind of uh, do the little wrench trick fit that in there with the uh, closed end and get yourself some more leverage um, to get that off hopefully we won't have to do that today because uh, this jeep has actually had it done before in the past but only this big gasket right here uh, but I'm thinking that it's leaking from these other smaller ones, so we're going to go ahead and replace all of them once again today. Now to do this job, you don't have to do it at an oil change interval. Um, you'll lose a little bit of oil once you take off that oil filter, since that does obviously have to come off, but um, it's not necessary. You can just throw a new filter on, then top off your oil, and away you go. I waited to an oil change interval, so I'm going to be doing all the oil once again. Um, you guys saw what I used for oil last time. Basically just uh, Rutella T5 10W30 in the summertime, six quarts of that. Um, and then I mix in this uh, ZDDP additive since this is a flat tap and engine needs that little extra zinc in there And then also I got a brand new oil filter right here. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, We're gonna start off with just uh, draining the oil getting the old oil filter off and then we're gonna tackle that oil filter adapter and Then we'll get that off and then we'll replace all these o-rings and put everything back together So let's head over to the Jeep. I'll drop the oil and then we'll get started on this Alright, so now that we got the oil drained and the oil filter off, we're looking down on the passenger side of this 4.0 engine and we can see right here this is our oil filter adapter. Basically it just comes out of the engine block and goes 90 degrees and points back. And this is where our oil filter would have been right here. So to take this off, um, there is a T60 screw that's located on the side right here underneath. So you can see the clearance right here in between the unibody frame rail and the oil filter adapter is very small so we're not going to have a lot of room to work in here um, which is why I was explaining earlier with this T60 adapter punched out and this 12 millimeter socket that's going to fit in right here. So that fits in there just like that. Now obviously you're going to need a lot more leverage to get this off so this is where we're going to have to get creative either getting a pipe to fit over that or another wrench to hook onto there to get us some more leverage to break that free. So I'm going to get something set up and then we're going to be back and then hopefully pop that guy free. Alright so I finally got that guy broken free and this is what I basically had to do. 
take a long pipe and just kind of taped a 12 millimeter wrench inside there so that way it's one less thing for me to hold while I'm in there trying to get that socket on here and have that socket onto that oil filter adapter and it was pretty tricky I actually had to have someone help kind of hold this in place while I went underneath and lined everything up um, just because of how tricky it was since it, everything wanted to keep falling down but now that I got it broken free with this I'm going to finish it off with just a wrench and that little ratchet and that oil filter adapter should pop off. And make sure you have a catch pan under here because there will be a little bit of residual oil coming out of here as well. All right. Now we're going to lift this out of here. All right, so with that oil filter adapter off, you can see right here they were mated with our engine block. Our O-ring is stuck inside that groove. If it's not on here when you pull it off, you wanna check your engine block, it's probably still stuck on there. But um, looking at this one, it's still a little bit hard on here, even though this was replaced about uh, six, seven years ago. But we're gonna be replacing that anyway, along with the other one. So I'm gonna take a pick and pull that off first. There we go. Now this guy over here, this should push out just like so, pretty much just a little plunger. And this is where we have our other O-rings right in here. And that's what we're going to be replacing today. There we go, that should be all three of our O-rings that were inside here. Now I'm gonna take this housing and plunger and clean it up and degrease it so that way everything's nice and clean when we put this back in. Then we'll get ready to put our new O-rings in and then pop this guy back into place. All right, so we got our oil filter adapter all cleaned up. Basically just took some degreaser and a toothbrush and went to town and got everything nice and clean on here. Um, the best I could, even with this plunger right here as well. Um, so now we're ready to put on the new O-rings and out of our gasket, we have a total of five. Um, we got two other ones probably for different years um, so this probably fits many years of the 4.0 um, just pick out the size uh, line them up with what you pull out of here um, on the right side is our old ones and our new ones are on the left we're going to start by putting our new o-rings on here we're going to start with the plunger one start with this fat one and slip that all the way on towards the back over here and then we'll take our small one and fit it into the groove over here And then our large one is going to fit right there in the o-ring groove now before i put this in i'm going to lubricate these o-rings with some oil on here um, that's pretty much what causes this um, hard to come off is these o-rings get so seized in this position so if we can put a little uh, oil in here to help lubricate that it's going to help a lot in installing it and taking it off again if i ever have to remove it so i just got my finger full of some oil and i'm just going to go over here and lubricate this all and then I'll get the bore a little bit as well and slide this into place. And then it should just pop in just like that. Put a little oil on here. And now this is ready to go back onto our engine. I'm just going to look over our existing surface on the engine block, make sure that's all cleaned up, and then we'll pop this back in. All right, so I'm going to put this in here and with our plunger. Uh, push into place. Um, if you noticed before when I was taking this off, um, it's separated from the engine block as I was screwing it out. So we're going to have to start throwing this into place. It's not going to sit flush up against the block until this is all the way tightened down. So I'm going to do that by hand first. And once you get it starting to tighten up, we're just going to snug this up by hand, nothing crazy tight. There we go. Now we can take our new oil filter and pop that onto place. The last thing we got to do is just fill the engine up with oil. 
All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully, you guys learned something on how to change your oil filter adapter O-rings out. It's a very common problem for them to leak on these G4.0s. And the hardest part is honestly just breaking it free from the engine block. So uh, doing that little technique right there with the cheater bar really helped and worked for me to get those off of there. So hopefully, this shouldn't leak anymore. As always, I'll post the part links down below in the description for you guys to find easily. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to post them below, and I'll be happy to answer them. If you guys want to help support the channel, we've got some outjeeping decals over on the outjeeping Etsy store. I'll post a link down below so you guys can find that as well and help support the channel. So if this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe to the outjeeping YouTube channel to help keep these videos coming. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.